The Dr. Shark Varshavsky is back in the building. Are you ready? Be whoop. Hello, sharks. Hello. I'm Bobby Edwards. Hello, Bobby. This is my mother, Judy. Hello, Judy. And we're here seeking $350,000 for a 5% share. Booha! Wow, that means they're worth quite a bit of money. Simply put, we're in the business to help you do your business. <laughs> now, there's something that each and every one of you are doing wrong every day of your lives, and it's adversely affecting your health. The reality is living life is adverse to your health. Everything you do in a given day, just by living, adversely affects the length of your life. That doesn't mean we should stop living our lives, though. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, that business. <laughs> the American <laughs> toilet. Is this that thing that you put a stool under and it raises the angle? Okay. We have a muscle called the puborectalis muscle that wraps around the base of our colon, forming a kink. And only when we are in a squat position does this muscle completely relax? The one thing I gotta interrupt them right away is, okay, pitch the product. But pitching the product as saying, this can eliminate all the problems that the United States population has with their GI tract, come on now. First of all, not even everybody struggles with constipation. And the big reason why we do struggle with constipation is because of our diets, not because of our posture on the toilet. We've come up with a perfect solution. Squatty Potty, a simple stool that's been carefully designed that allows the user to squat in a healthy position. Essentially, a very inexpensive piece of plastic that could essentially be anything to lift up your legs. And when not in use, it stores neatly away. Neatly away, as he shoves it back one inch. Squatty Potty will be the goose that lays the golden egg for you guys and us too. Now, who wants to climb on board and help us get America? Bobby, Move. Bobby, how do you squeeze out a profit? He hit him with the dad joke right away. He saw the healthy colon and he wanted to squeeze out a profit. It takes an advanced sense of humor. I don't expect everybody to understand. How do you sell them? To who? They're all available online. You know, we, we have There's a website. There's no retail? And Amazon. We're not in retail yet. Holy crap, you're selling. Holy crap, right? Yeah. There's a crap load of money in Squatty <laughs> No, seriously, you're selling 2.7 million online? I think yes. I know why. Why? Weren't you just on Dr. Oz? Oh no, it's going dark, it's going brown, it's getting flushed. In 2012, we were on Dr. Oz. Yes. That's how we got that $1 million, right? And you know what Dr. Oz said about it? It works. That's the first time we've heard that. Why can't somebody just get a stack of books and lift their they legs can. up? I mean, well said, fellow shark. Squatty Potty is designed specifically for the task. It's perfectly angled. Well, it can't be perfectly angled because you don't know the height of the individual using the, the toilet. Pam and I are gonna need different Squatty Potty heights. I think it's very, very difficult to get people to change their minds about <laughs> things. We're used to going to the toilet a certain way. <laughs> There's actually some evidence behind squatting, so I can't knock this product, but I can say that we just need to be careful with the marketing of like, the healthy, happy colon, la 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 la. Because people who have serious colon issues will think this will be the solution and ignore legitimate treatment. Like you have no idea how many of my patients who have legitimate symptoms that worry me about a potential colon cancer or inflammatory bowel disease that refuse to get colonoscopies and want to try things like this as an at-home remedy years before they seek out real medical treatment, which could make it too late. Well, I feel that the 350,000 for 10% is right. How about 10% for 500,000? I don't accept that. If you're interested, if you really want a shark, then you would entertain that seriously. Actually, we're gonna take Lori's offer. Wow, okay. And the rest is history. How much money did Squatty Potty make over the last five years? Right here on screen. Probably way too much. The Squatty Potty, reluctantly, I'm in. Oxygen is the most essential element for the heart, for the brain, and for the muscles to function. And we've all seen supplemental oxygen being utilized by professional football players on the sidelines, aviators, mountaineers, and by many other people for many different purposes. Usually those purposes are for altitude purposes, where partial pressures change. Boost Oxygen is 95% pure aviators breathing oxygen compressed into affordable and portable aluminum canisters. It's an all natural product for health and wellness. Yo, check this out. Mad health and wellness. For free. Our mission at Boost Oxygen. Oh my God, it has flavors. Yo, you ever try that pink grapefruit oxygen though? Mm -hmm.
And Kevin, if we sucked all the oxygen out of this room, hmm. we'd all be literally dead to you right now. Uh, 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 buy our fake product. So what we're gonna do, we're all gonna try the oxygen. Oh my God, there's an oxygen one that is called the Think Tank that boosts memory. My memory's about to explode. So you take the mask, you put it under the nose and over the mouth, then you press the trigger. One, one two, two, three. three. And what do you get from that, bro? You breathe all day. You you took a little breath of oxygen. It's not like your, your body physically can take in more oxygen. You realize that, right? Like there's a specific set of oxygen percentage wise in the air. It stays that way, no matter how high you turn it up. And even if you turn it up momentarily for your little one second burst, that changes nothing. It's a $1 million capital <laughs> investment. <laughs> for a 5% equity stake in Boost Oxygen. Oh, wait, oh wait, wait, my wait. God. $20 million company right there to sell you air. Who's using this? Nobody, I hope. When you go up from Florida to Vail and you go skiing and you're breathing hard, you see oxygen, you're like, I'm gonna try that. And you try it and you like it. You use it when you're there. When you go back to Florida. You don't need it anymore, but we're still gonna sell it to you anyway. Is this FDA approved? It's I not FDA, not regulated not by the FDA. Yeah, because it's a BS product. If they were regulated by the FDA, it would get taken off the market and it wouldn't even be let on the market because they would have to make some sort of claim to say that it treats something. My concern is, you're trying to educate people on a problem they don't really know they have. They don't have it! Bro, bring me on this show. I would flip out. You know how they spill water on each other? I would just spill water on purpose. Looking at the five of us, none of us took it and said, wow, this is a no-brainer. Yeah, because it doesn't do anything, Mark. My guy, he's selling you a think air container. Hit the air container and then think how stupid it is. We're pretty sharp in little numberonis there when we're cutting in half. I think the deal's reasonable, let's go. Good. We'll take the deal. The Varshavsky is heavily out. Maybe because I didn't have my think oxygen container. So just imagine you're at a dinner party or maybe even a tailgate. Okay. Better yet, we're at a local bar with some friends okay. adding some champagne. Okay. Would anyone care for a glass? Yes, please. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. I bet he's not gonna give me one. I bet you were joking. I mean, I got a little sparkly water. Before you know it, the night's over and it's time to go home. And what are you gonna say? Your breath smells? The most important question is: Are you safe to drive? Oh. And who would want to carry one of these bulky old breathalyzers around? Well, that's not the only issue. The issue is whether or not you're inebriated. You know, you might be under the limit, but you still can be inebriated. So that's why I created breathometer the world's first smartphone breathalyzer. Oh, interesting. Let me show you how it works. Simply retract the audio jack, plug it into the smartphone, activate the app. Within a matter of seconds, you'll be able to know what your breath alcohol level is. I need to know only one question and one question only. Has it been tested by independent labs and compared against baseline real world breath alcohol content machines. You can even hail a cab with a push of a button. That's called Uber. So please join or Lyft me on this mission or Revel to help or Curb people make smarter or one of the many apps <laughs> near you. Basically go ahead and plug it into the audio jack of your smartphone. Um, all you need to go do is hit the start button. Okay. Go ahead and breathe into this hole like there. You're at a point zero four right now. That would be legal. Yeah, you're legal. You could technically still get a ticket for that, I'm pretty sure. Like just because you're under the legal limit doesn't mean that you're completely fine to drive. If you're at a point zero four and still swerving, you could still go to jail. I'm starting to think of this as more of a multifunction breathalyzer. So the next one we're actually trying to focus on is uh, diabetes. It's in clinical trials and it's obviously less intrusive. Yeah, but I don't think that would be nearly as accurate, especially for type 1 diabetics who have to gauge their blood sugar in order to decide how much insulin to give themselves. That's a very risky game, if not accurate. 500,000 from Mark Cuban for 15% and 500,000 from the rest of the sharks. We're going to split it right. for a total of 30% for $1 million and the power of Shark Tank. What are you going to do? I accept. Wow. Right. <laughs> the Shark Warshawski's out because I heard zero research here. 
Only future plans for research. Five minutes later. A little update here because the breathometer was ordered by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission in January, 2017 to provide refunds for all its devices sold between 2013 and 2015 because it frequently understated blood alcohol levels and the FTC investigators concluded the company was aware of this. They decided to not inform its customers despite this fact and continued marketing and selling its products. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is why you don't take people's word at face value without evidence. In this day and age, appearance is everything. Agreed. <laughs> Poor Kevin got zoomed in on. What if I told you you could look 10 years younger? I would buy it. Without any plastic surgery or injection. I would spend all my money on it. Face yoga. Face yoga is a really <laughs> great natural solution. Oh, thank to God, Mark. Your youthful appearance. We wake up sleeping muscle in the face. I actually don't mind the idea of face yoga. Kevin. I'm not mad at it. Let's see your face. As of oh, that's not. today, <laughs> oh. you look great. But if you do face yoga exercises, oh, don't make a claim. you can look like this. No, come on, don't make the claim. If you wanna reduce fat anywhere in your body, you cannot spot reduce. If I have excess adipose tissue, fat tissue on my arm, me doing curls with this arm will not make this arm reduce fat content. That is a whole body approach. So what she's recommending here is BS. Would you like to come up here so that I can make you look 10 years younger? Yeah, Let's sure. do some exercises together. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind the face yoga, it's the claims I have a problem with. Let's lift up the corners of the mouth a little bit higher. Smile, uh -huh. and then stick all your tongue up, down, up. This is not so easy. Oh man, <laughs> that was aggressive tongue. Oh, show me a puppy. Coco, this is not down. easy. Noises. Thank God Bear's not in this room. He would have a panic attack. There's no easy way to say this, but it's just not a fit for me. I, I thought he was gonna ask her if she said work done. I'm out, Coco. Okay, thank you. I will be laughing at them when I become very, very successful. And if they come to me at that time, oh, Coco, please teach me some exercise. No, I will not teach them any exercise. You already taught them, though. Please live with your saggy face. Oh, she hit him with the T. I am very much out. <laughs> Shara Kvastravsky is out. I'm in the business of keeping boobs high and dry. Okay. <laughs> That's right, boob sweat. I know it doesn't sound Oops, very attractive, sweat. and trust me, it does not feel very attractive either, but it is something that's very real for so many women. In my patients who have larger breasts, they do have higher rates of fungal, yeast, canadal infections underneath the breast. Actually, sometimes it's misdiagnosed as a yeast infection, and it can actually be a full-blown cellulitis, which means a bacterial infection. So I came up with a solution of my own, the Tata -ta towel. Ta -ta -ta. That's right. <laughs> it's a towel for yo tatas. Okay. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I mean, if that helps you, especially like if you're doing your hair and you're blasting the hair dryer and it's hot in there, I could see wearing that to decrease the amount of sweat. We thought you might want to feel how it really feels. Just, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I really oh, don't so need one of these soft. at all. But you know what? They make great gifts. I could see this working. I love that he's wearing it. I need the help. Like you said, I've made a so? lot of mistakes. What are you gonna do? I'll take it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her off her. Yeah. Yay! The Shark of Arshavsky is in. And I would make the best TikTok dances wearing those. <laughs> click here to find out the part of your body you should never shave. Maybe not never, but definitely click it. And as always, stay happy and healthy. <laughs>